Well, one of the two who were killed today was Julhas Alam, who is the founder of uh, the country's only gay magazine. This magazine called Rubban was launched in 2014 as a way of uh, working as a platform for gay people who don't actually operate openly in Bangladesh. It is socially not acceptable for the, you know, there's a gay way of life. So Rubban uh, was trying to be a platform where gay people can gather and communicate and share experiences. So he was in his house and with a friend and some people came in and basically used machetes to hack them to death. He would have known from setting up this magazine that he was vulnerable, that he was under threat, presumably, but went ahead anyway. Yes, uh, gay people always think that they are under threat. But I think uh, the thing about uh, Rukban was that it, when it was launched, it was not believed that uh, they could be a threat under threat of this kind. Um, they took a great deal of care in uh, protecting themselves and their identity. And they worked uh, with closely with some foreign uh, embassies who supported them logistically and financially, possibly. And the government never actually um, ostracized them or criticized them for slowly trying to come out. So there was no feeling that uh, the gay community could be targeted in this manner. And the manner of the killing shows that it's virtually identical to the killings we've had in Bangladesh in the last year or so. The, you know, the, the, uh, the use of the machetes, the, uh, the strike on the head or the neck. So it's very, very similar. It's very similar. I suppose we can't assume that they're linked to some of the previous attacks. The killings of atheist uh, bloggers or secular bloggers uh, have been claimed by so-called Islamic State. Yes, but uh, it seems the, uh, the area is expanding. The, the university teacher in Rajshah University who was killed uh, on Saturday, he was not a known atheist. He was not a known campaigner. But his daughter says he was a believer. Yes, and he was not a known campaigner against Islamist groups either. But he was targeted nevertheless. And he, now you have the gay community. So this is, this is like saying that uh, anything some people may decide is not Islamic, they will be targeting. And there's a feeling in Bangladesh that because the government is failing time and again to bring the culprits to justice, that uh, these uh, criminals or the killers are gaining a sense of impunity, that they can go ahead and kill anyone they think is un-Islamic and they will get away with it.